Here with Chris Connett, uh, Charlie Appleby's assistant trainer. We're back here at Barn 84, way back in the corner of Saratoga Racetrack. You have created a flare going to Diana this weekend. How's the horse been training and how did it ship over? Um, we're very happy with Creative Flare. Um, she shipped over a couple of weeks ago to Belmont. Uh, was training really nicely down there. And then we traveled up on Tuesday to Saratoga and she settled straight in. So we're very happy with her. Can you tell me a little bit about the contingent you have up here? I think you have four or five horses right now in this barn here. Uh, what's your plan with these horses and where are they pointed? Um, currently we've got three here. Uh, we've got Nathan's Pride who ran in the Belmont Derby as well as with the Moonlight who ran in the Oaks down there at Belmont as well. So they're going to stay here until the Saratoga Oaks and Derby uh, in start of August. So, and then we also have Creative Flare. So it's just a small, small team at the moment, but um, hopefully uh, we can win some big races. Can you tell me a little bit what it means to ship a horse over to Saratoga? You know, coming up here in Saratoga, this is the dream track to race in the summer. What does that mean to you guys? And is it really just targeting these big races? Um, yeah, it's 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 really um, what Godolphin are all about. His, uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed's whole idea is to race all around the world and take on the best in in the best race courses as well so uh, to come over to Saratoga it's such, such a beautiful track up here and so prestigious the best best horses come come to Saratoga and hopefully we've got some some nice horses to take them on anybody else you think that'll come over later this summer um at the moment I believe uh, your is penciled in to come over for the sword dancer um and I think the plans for a few others might be a bit fluid at the moment, but hopefully we'll have some big gums come out. Well, best of luck tomorrow on the stakes. Thank you very much. Here with Safi Joseph Jr. out at a backstretch of Saratoga Racetrack. Safi, you got uh, some really good horses in the, on the Derby Trail area this year. You know, where is White Abario? Where is uh, Skippy Longstocking? And where are their plans? Um, White Abario is in Florida. He's going to work on Sunday, and there's a strong possibility all goes well. He's going to go to Haskell. After that, he'll come to Saratoga after and possibly run into Jerkins. Depends on how we run in Haskell, obviously. Um, Skippy Longstockings, he's here. He could point to either the West Virginia Derby as a priority right now or possibly the curling at Saratoga. Any two-year-olds that you've brought up here to Saratoga that you're excited to see that start? No, actually, we haven't brought any two-year-olds up. Most of the two-year-olds stay in Florida. Um, they'll debut down there, and then if some of them show promise, they'll come up. We've had some quite interesting ones so far that have shown some ability. Um, there's one called X X Y Point that he he'll, he'll probably run down there. Hopefully at towards the end of the month, and then um, possibly come out to Saratoga if he proves good enough. I got to ask you: you must have some frequent flyer miles. You're in Florida. You're in New York. You're in uh, Virginia. You know you're all over the place. Why you try? Why you have horses all over the place? Is it, is it just the contingency? How you're trying to make money this year? Yeah, I mean, just we, we got the right owners um, giving us these kind of horses, and there's more opportunities for them in the summer than, else, than in Florida right now. Um, the higher quality horses need, need to leave Florida and point for stakes. So we're just shipping them anywhere that gives them the best chance to be competitive and, 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 and um, enhance their career. Uh, last question for you. you know, how many horses do you have up here at Saratoga and is this your, your normal size? Yeah, we have 29, 29 at Saratoga and that, we'll probably stay around there the, the whole meet. Um, it's a good number, obviously. It's, you would like to have more, but the stall situation is, is tough to get all the stalls. So it kind of forces your hand on what kind of group you bring. But 29 is a decent number. Well, best of luck with the rest of the meet. Thank you very much. Here with Brad Cox at his barn. Uh, Brad, you got a, a horse in the Sanford on Saturday, Mo Strike. How's the horse training, and uh, are you excited about the mount? Uh, yeah, no, he's training really well. He breezed at Churchill this past weekend and, uh, you know, did enough to show us that, you know, give him a chance here at Saratoga. It's a big field. So hopefully he stacks up. We think he will. So we're excited about that. Tony Port, got to ask, great win at the Ohio Derby. Uh, had one work here I saw so far. Where are you thinking about pointing him next? And how did he come out of the last race? Uh, really good. His breeze here this past weekend was really good. And we're pointing for the Jim Dandy. And, you know, if all went well there, we think, you know, we'd probably look at the Travers, but one step at a time. And I think he's a horse that obviously likes the mile and an eighth. And, even a mile and a quarter if, if we give him a you know get, get that far with him but uh yeah now he's he's a nice horse and he's really seems to be getting better with age and and just racing so uh you know he's didn't get he got a little bit of a late start didn't make his debut until december but he's uh you know made, made up a lot of ground in a short period of time and you know once again i think he's a horse that's probably going to get better with, with racing and age in terms of two-year-olds up here uh, some people point to different types of keeneland meat some people point here do you have any two-year-olds that you're pointed here 
Yeah, we have it. We brought it probably eight that we're hopeful will make a start. I don't want to say anything yet. I don't want to jinx any of them, but you know, we brought it. We brought a contingency of two year olds that I think, uh, you know, we're ho horses we're hopeful that'll fit and be competitive in their major special weights up here. Anything in this upcoming week? Well, we entered one yesterday, then um, the race didn't go. So that was actually a little concerning that we entered a two year old opening opening weekend and it didn't go but like it is what it is they'll get their opportunity when uh, you know they're ready and the races go and you know we're excited just to have them up here and give them an opportunity on a, on a big stage last question for you it's a family affair up here what does it mean to you to be working with your family your children uh, at the barn up at Saratoga well, it means a lot I mean it's a very special place Saratoga it's, it's kind of it's like going back in town you know it's, it's very very special uh, racetrack and uh, you know things kind of slow down up here a little bit and it's really good for the horses the horses seem to thrive they enjoy the weather good surface to train on so uh, you know it means a lot honestly my boys being here uh, you know they're they're involved very active good horsemen that you know play a big role in our barn and what we do so uh, it's um, it means a lot to me and I always look forward to coming up here well good luck with the meet and uh, we'll talk to you later on this week appreciate it thank you